Hi, this is John, and that's Muffalo. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> and the onslaught of drawing dogs continues here at Muffalo Potato, where we teach you how to draw anything in minutes using nothing but numbers and letters. So you're going to need three things. You're going to need a pen, you're going to need a piece of paper, and you're going to watch me. Do you know what a pug looks like, Muffalo? I don't know. Does it look like blue? No, it doesn't look like you. A pug looks like this. Isn't that oh, adorable? Oh, that is the cutest pug I've ever seen. That is absolutely Phyllis, get out of here. Well, okay, toodles, bye. Yeah, so that's a pug. So we're gonna draw a pug. Cool? Cool. Okay, so your paper's straight up and down just like this. And we're gonna start by drawing two letters. We're gonna draw a lowercase n like this. And just inside it, we're gonna draw another lowercase n. Together, that spells n. Watch me first. Uh, right in the middle of the paper, we want to put it, guys, okay? So I'm going to draw my first lowercase n here, and you don't have to pay too much attention to that little up in the corner. But it's a little wide, and it comes around, and you want to make sure they're balanced on both sides. Leave a good bit of space right here, and another lowercase n, just like this. Nice and cute. That's going to be the muzzle of our pug. So right in the middle, connecting both ends, I want you to draw a uh, capital Y. Why? 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 Because I said so. Okay. okay, here we go. Why? Just like this. And down. Okay, now over here and here and here, I want you to draw three U's like bowls without a top. You ready, Muffalo? Like a bowl without a top. Without a top. Alright, watch me. We're gonna connect and close off these shapes here. So here's a U, there's another U. And there's a U right there. You, you, you. Why? Why? You? You. You. you Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna draw two. Uh, give it down. We're gonna draw two zeros. One on each side of the M. That's gonna be our little pug's eyeballs. So we're gonna do a zero here. Make it perfectly round, just like that. And make another zero right here. Again, make them as symmetrical as possible. Zero, zero. And now kind of up here a little bit on both sides, just about a, a finger's length away. So if you want to put your finger down, you want to draw it over here. Put your finger down, you want to draw over here. We're going to draw two Vs, and they're going to be a little kind of wavy. This is going to be ears of our pug. So you're going to draw one V right here, just like that. See how it's about a finger away from there? Same thing right here. Another V. Kind of angle that one out a little bit. So there's two V's on either side, okay? On this side, coming down and connecting the V, I want you to draw an L, sort of a slightly lazy L. So it comes down, instead of going straight across, it kind of curves over to touch right there. And on this side, you can draw a J. J for John, because I'm John, and I'm also cool. Well, kind of cool, man. Well, kind of cool. Whatever. Whatever. No, 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 whatever. Sound like someone we know. Okay, so here we're gonna draw a J. Start here. Bring your J down and then bring that curve over and touch right there. See how they're kind of the same on both sides? That's neat. So let's do more N's, okay? Uh, more lowercase N's, real wide ones. One here and one here. We're just gonna draw these N's right here just to top off the top of the pug's ear. So there's one N and there's another N, just like this. Uh, and now across the top, I want you to draw uh, oh, uh, M that looks like a bird in flight. But not like a normal M like that, which is really birdy. Like a really wide M like that, so its wings are really outstretched. This is the top of the, the pug's head. So you want that middle part to dip down right here. So I'm gonna put my pen here. I'm gonna go up and down, and up and down. It's a real wide lowercase M. Okay, flip the page upside down. You ready, Muffalo? That sounded like pug for yes. Oh, that's good. That really is impressive. What, Lassie? Did Timmy fall in a well? I, I don't know. I don't know who Timmy is. I just made that up. Okay, so we got to draw the uh, pugs are really wrinkly up top here. Kind of like me. So we're going to draw um, a couple V's and an 11, okay? We're going to do two V's here, two V's here, and an 11 in the middle. So right underneath that zero, that I, I'm going to do a V just like this, and another one right on top of it. In the middle, the number 11, and then the same thing, a V here and a V here. Turn your paper all the way around again. Ooh, we're getting close. We just gotta do a couple parts at the bottom. We're all finished, okay? Let's draw a C coming down here and attach to that an M like a bird in flight. There's a C, there's a little M. Right in the middle, let's do a U like that. That'll be his chest. 
Uh, turn upside down once more, guys. I gotta draw that other leg. Best way to do it is to draw another C, looking like this, and then a W, like that. Finishing steps, guys. Turn the paper sideways. Draw a three here, and a three here to close off the shapes. Turn that around. Ring the bell, guys. You got yourselves a cute little pug. Oh, that is just so- Phyllis. Okay, bye. I said no. I told Phyllis no. <laughs> so now you can color in the eyes, because when you're coloring the eyes, you know, nice and shiny, they get really cute. And you can add colors. They have like a dark muzzle, and they're kind of brown all over. Now you can do it at your speed, but I'm gonna do it at high speed, just like this. Are you ready? You ready, boy? Okay. <laughs> A cute little pug drawn with nothing but numbers and letters. Muffalo, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, hey guys, I hope you had fun drawing it. Do me a favor, right below to me, uh, say hi. If you have a dog, tell me what kind of dog you have. Uh, maybe we'll get around to drawing them. Maybe I just want to know what kind of dog you have. Maybe I'm naturally curious. But one thing's for sure, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to be fun. I'll see you soon with something else fun to draw on Muffalo Potato. <laughs> Be sure to check us out on MuffaloPotato.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, tweet us on Twitter, pin us on Pinterest, and get our app at the iTunes Store for your iPhone or iPad. Take care.